Hello there and welcome back. We are now on episode three of the Room by Room series. Please check out episodes one and two where we built this beautiful great room and then the kitchen. In case you don't know what I'm doing, please check those out. But I get a lot of requests for uh, Let's Builds and I build kind of uniquely in that I build one room and then I build the house around it and I build it room by room, only planning ahead a room just to put doorways. So again, we got the great room finished and we got the kitchen. So now we're gonna start working on the back part of the house. And if you're not familiar, again, we don't know how this house is gonna turn out on the exterior or even on the second floor yet. We're only building room by room. So right now I'm trying to plan ahead because we're going to be doing that stairwell down there at the bottom and that bathroom together. So again, we have to plan a room ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the outline of maybe it may be the master suite down there. We don't know yet. So this is so far what we have of the exterior and we don't know how it's gonna turn out. It probably will be quite a bit bigger when we're finished, but I'm going to put a temporary master suite on the back. It may change just so we can get that half bath down there, possibly a full bath um, and the stairway done. So. I'm thinking about making that the master suite and putting a nice size closet on the back. But again, don't pay any attention to that yet. But if we keep that, that's what that's going to look like on the exterior so far. And that actually looks pretty cool. But again, we don't know because I don't build like normal people build. <laughs> um, if you watch my other videos, you'll understand. But that's why I did this series is to satisfy the very nice request to do let's builds. I take that as a huge compliment, by the way. So we're going to focus on this room here and we're going to do the bathroom. Um, it would be, I guess you would call a guest bath where people who came over could use that. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the wallpaper. I typically do that with bathrooms. Um, just because we have so many choices with, um, you know, tubs and sinks and showers now that if I go ahead and pick out the wallpaper, it's just easier for me to decide what else I'm going to put in there. And you'll, you'll notice on episode one, I also did that with the living room. I picked the wall color first and built the room around it. So this again is going to be a bathroom. So now we can pick out what we're going to put in there. And I really like the rose gold sinks and tubs and showers so and I haven't used them in a while I'm used to using the silver the um, yeah it's called silver on here I don't know if they would be called stainless steel but either way we're gonna do the rose gold in here and I like that toilet with that sink and tub and I think the wood walls are going to complement the theme for the rest of the house, especially the great room, because we have those orangey colored woods in there. So that would be a nice transition into that bathroom with sort of a color scheme, if that makes sense. And I love this orchid, and that goes beautifully with the rose gold fixtures in there. And what else can we put in here? Hmm... And I really appreciate you guys hanging in with me on this series. I'm not sure how many videos it's going to be, but I am having so much fun doing it. Um, yeah, there's a rose gold towel bar. I forgot I even had that. And let's see, we need something else maybe on the other side of the sink, but while I'm over here, I had forgotten to put a light fixture in the kitchen, so I'm just going to pop that over there. So... That painting above the toilet, I can already tell looks nice before I go into regular mode. And let's put that rose gold light there. All right. And we forgot the window. So let's go over here. We're using these chalet windows and put one over the tub. So now let's see how this is looking. Beautiful, I love it. It turned out better than I thought it would actually. So this is a keeper for sure. Yeah, I'm really happy with that room. All right. So now we're going to work on the stairway. And that's going to pop straight up there. 
And I'm, I think it was episode one I mentioned, um, I would like to have some windows that overlook the great room from the stairway. So this would work out really, really well. You can probably hear that airplane flying over me. That is really flying low. Anyway, <laughs> so we'll put the stairs there. And then once you get up to the landing, I'll put some windows up there that overlook that great room. And I think that would work out really nice. Now see, we got these new stairs with the Christmas 2018 update, but they don't really match many of the floors. We have all of these beautiful wood floors and barely any stairs to match. So we're just not going to be matching the stairs and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we have literally no stairs to match. I would say 80% of the flooring and I don't know about you, um, but that's kind of a pet peeve of mine is that we don't have that and I don't understand when they create these floors why they can't just create a staircase to match it. Um, but they don't so we just kind of have to work with what we have. So now we're finished with that stairwell and we're going to go ahead and plan out this master suite. And I'm thinking that's going to be the closet. And then I think I'm going to put the bed over on the left hand wall and over to the right we're going to have a master bath so i think i'm going to go ahead and put the windows in first on this one because i have absolutely no idea what colors i'm going to use yet i don't know i think i'll probably end up picking out the bed first um that would probably be the best plan for the master suite because we do have a lot of choices for wallpaper now and um you know, it's we have a lot more wallpaper than we do beds. So I think it would probably be smarter to pick out what color scheme I wanted for the wallpaper first. And I'm putting those windows in there because if I don't, I'm not going to have a space to put any windows on the back of the house at all. So this is what we look, we're we looking like here. But yeah, with those windows back there, because of the closet, it's going to block, um, you know, the rest of the wall space back there. So... I need to pick out a wall color for this area and I think I'm just going to bring that teal straight back through there so that it all just kind of meshes together. I don't think this is going to be a bust guys. I think this one's going to work. So, you know, even if it didn't turn out well, this is so much fun, but it would be nice the first time I did this with you guys as a series, if it did turn out well, you know, the room by room build. Um, you know, it's a gamble, especially when you're putting a lot of time into making videos on it, but I think it's going to work out. And that looks good too. Yeah, I'm really, in, I'm enjoying this. And I love that bathroom. So what are you guys thinking so far? Is it worth it? <laughs> but I'm glad you get to see how I build. That's really important to me, um, especially with the comments that I get. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but the ones that I have so far, you guys are so nice and you're so encouraging. And with you asking me for Let's Builds, that means you like what I'm doing. And this is a hobby of mine. So to have someone else enjoy my hobby while I'm doing it, that's why I'm doing this. So next episode, we'll work on the master suite. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.